Hi, we're looking at solving simultaneous equations by elimination and this is example 5. Um, our two equations here are 4x take away 2y is equal to 14 and 2x take away 5y is equal to 11. What we're going to do is we're going to have a look at two ways of solving this pair of equations here. We're going to first of all look at eliminating the x's um, and then later on we're going to have a look at um, eliminating the y's and we're just going to check that um, either way we're going to get the same solutions. So eliminating the x's first of all, if we call this equation 1 and this one equation 2, um, because 4 is a multiple of 2 that means I can multiply this equation by something to make the coefficients of x the same. So I'm going to multiply this equation here by 2. So if I multiply this by 2, 2x becomes 4x take away 5y becomes 10y is equal to and 11 becomes 22. Now I'm just going to write equation 1 underneath this so we've got 4x take away 2y is equal to 14 and what we're now going to do is we're going to do um, this equation take away this equation over here. So 4x take away 4x gives me no x negative 10y take away negative 2y so that's going to be the same as negative 10y plus 2y which gives me negative 8y so this is something you need to be really careful of we'll just go over that again negative 10y take away negative 2y is the same as negative 10y plus 2y which is negative 8y okay and that's going to be equal to 22 take away 14 which gives me 8 so if a negative 8y is equal to 8 we can divide both sides by negative 8 so that tells us that y is equal to 8 divided by negative 8 which is negative 1 okay so that's our y value I'm now going to sub this back into one of my equations and we'll sub it back into the top equation over here um, and that should help us work out what x is. So we've got 4x take away negative, sorry, 4x take away 2y, which is 2 times negative 1. And that's equal to 14. So that tells me that 4x take away 2 times negative 1 is going to be the same as plus 2. And that's going to be equal to 14. 4x therefore is going to be equal to 12 and x is going to be equal to 3. So I now know that x is 3 and y is equal to negative 1. Because I used the top equation to work out x, I'm now going to sub into this second equation here and check that we get the right answer. So 2x or 2 times 3, because x is 3, take away 5y and y is negative 1, so take away 5 times negative 1 and we're um, expecting this to be equal to 11 so um, that's going to be 2 times 3 which is 6 um, take away 5 times negative 1 which is negative 5 and take away negative 5 is going to be the same as plus 5 um, and 6 plus 5 gives us 11 which is what we're expecting so x equals 3 and y is equal to negative 1 are going to be our solutions. Right, what we're now going to do is we're going to have a look at um, it, what would happen if we equated our y's rather than our x's. Okay, so um, again, if we call this equation 1 and we call this equation 2, um, so we've got uh, 2 y over here and 5y over here so um, a common multiple of 2 and 5 is 10 so I'm going to multiply this equation by 5 to make this 10 and this equation by 2 to make this 10 over here so equation 1 times by 5 which gives me 20x take away 10y is equal to and that's going to be 70 and we're going to take equation 2 and we're going to multiply that by 2 which gives me 4x take away 10y is equal to 22 
I now can now do um, this equation take away this equation over here. Now we're choosing to take away because negative 10y take away a negative 10y would be the same as a plus 10y. Negative 10y plus 10y is going to eliminate it because it will give us 0y. So 20x take away 4x is 16x. Negative 10y take away negative 10y gives me 0y and that's going to be equal to 70 take away 22 which is 48. Okay, so 16 times x is equal to 48. That tells me that x is going to be 48 divided by 16, which is 3. I now know x is 3. I'm going to sum it back into one of these equations here. We'll choose the top one. Um, 4x take away 2y is equal to 14. So 4 times x is 3. Take away 2y is equal to 14. Or 12 take away 2y is equal to 14. If I subtract 12 from both sides, I need to be careful here, subtract 12 from both sides, I've got negative 2y over here is equal to 2, which tells me that y must be equal to negative 1. Okay, so I now know x is 3 and y is equal to negative 1. I use the top equation to work this out, so I'm now going to use this second equation to check it. So 2x take away 5, 5y, I'm expecting it to be 11. So 2 times x, which is 3, take away 5 times y, which is negative 1. And that's going to be equal to 6. Take away 5 times negative 1 is negative 5, so take away negative 5 is plus 5. And that, in fact, gives me 11. OK, so that tells me that x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 1. And what you should have noticed is on both equation, example 5a um, and example 5b, for both of them, we got x is equal to 3 and y is equal to negative 1. OK, thanks for joining me. I'll see you next time.